I just, I don't think the Giants are capable of giving us comedic relief because the two positions, well, I guess if they drafted, like, Grant Delpit, that's the only thing. Because, like, running back, defensive tackle, and box safety, there's no guard at four that they could possibly reach for. But those are, like, the only positions. Like, they literally can't draft quarterback, running back, or defensive line. Interior defensive line. Now, what if, if they, like, stunned the world and, like, drafted Tua? I would actually applaud them for that. Simmons? I love Simmons. But... Not as a linebacker, like everyone keeps saying. I think it'd be a really bad pick for the Giants. Because if the problem is, if the Giants take him, you're doing one of two things. You either play him at strong safety, where I think he needs to play, to be the best version of himself. You either play him there, or you play him at linebacker, where you're, you're not maximizing his skill set, and you're emphasizing his weaknesses, which is that he's... He's skinny, he's lengthy, he's a safety. He's not a linebacker. So if you draft him to play middle linebacker at four, I don't think you're getting the value there. And if you draft him to replace Jabril Peppers, who's a really good box safety who does similar things, you're just further kicking this wasted value down the road because you that was a big part of the Odell Beckham trade was going to get Jabril Peppers. So, I mean, I, it's going to be really hard for Isaiah Simmons to not be a good player, but I don't think he'd be an elite middle linebacker. No, you don't. I, would, I don't want Simmons or Jabril Peppers at free safety. We saw Jabril Peppers at free safety for the Browns, and it was not pretty. And I definitely don't want to waste Isaiah Simmons as a free safety because he's, he's like a Derwin James type of player for me. I gotta stop skipping training. Wow, we just tied 14 to 14. I guess I shouldn't act surprised. It is Madden. Yeah, I agree. Simmons to the Jags. I think it's gonna happen. I think he's gonna fall further than people realize because, like, Madden players want Isaiah Simmons more than anything, but I don't think NFL teams want him as bad. Like, people gotta realize... He was a safety at Clemson, and I think he projects as a safety at the next level. So all these people saying you draft him to play middle linebacker, I just don't get it. I can see him as a linebacker if you're a team like the Jags and you're playing him in base as a weak side linebacker, effectively as a nickel corner. But if you're a 3-4 team, you don't really have that role. That's just a strong safety. Simmons played like... I think Simmons played like 60% of his snaps as either a strong safety or a nickel corner. And then I think he played like 15% of his snaps as a free safety, and then he played like 8% of his snaps as a linebacker. Alright, come on. We gotta beat the Ravens. This is not looking good this year. Yes! Yes! And we got a breakout. Is this KJ Hamler? Oh, man. So tempting. I'm not going to do it, though. We got rules. We got to keep this thing moving. Let's take a look at negotiations. Hi, Teddy.
I think we, uh, honestly, I think we let everyone go, except for Kaiser White, whenever we can get negotiations with him. That was a big win last week against the Ravens. Hi, Doug. Who will have the most unexpected 40 time at the combine? Hmm. Gosh, and Woso is becoming a beast. I'm gonna go. God, we lost 16 to 13. This offense is just struggling this year. Oh, sorry, David. That's probably his career. Well, Justin Jackson's going to get a good opportunity. Also, we drafted this guy. Or no, I'm thinking of... What am I thinking of? We definitely need a running back, though, with David Johnson going down. What would Teddy run in the combine? Teddy is fast as shit. Teddy actually could probably run like a 4-2. I'm not even kidding. He is he is stupid fast. Like, it doesn't make sense, but he can fly. Like, when he goes to the dog park, like, dogs can't catch him. Yeah, he is like a Pikachu. Aren't you? All right, we gotta bring in a running back. Bryce Love, chilling on the Bears practice squad. Give me some of that. Does my number one linebacker struggle coming off blocks? What do you mean? still take a tackle if the Giants traded back I'd be tempted to take Epinesa I think Epinesa would be a bad fit for the Giants because they already have so many big bot like I know Epinesa is an edge but I mean you already got Leonard Williams and assuming they're running that like hybrid scheme like he's gonna play a lot of four and five tech if they draft AJ Epineza. I think you still go tackle, assuming you can get, depending how far they trade back, if you can still get Wills or Thomas. Yeah, Teddy is a Bengals fan. I don't think he'd be mad about getting drafted to the Bengals. EA, what's an edge player? Ugh. Don't even get me started. Oh, you're trying to guess who my number one linebacker is? Well, it's not official yet. I mean, I, I don't have a problem at this point spoiling who I was talking about. I was talking about um, 
David Wood Woodyard. It's going to come down to what he runs, though. If he's in the four sixes, he'll be my number one linebacker. Um, he does not struggle coming off blocks, though. I think he's a more instinctive run defender than um, Woodard. Not Woodward? Woodard? Woodyard? He is one of the better cover linebackers I've watched as far as like actual coverage skills. And he's really smooth, like sorting through the traffic. Um, can make some plays in the backfield. I, he, he's a hell of a player. And he's a... Uh, He's a junior. He could have stayed another year and came out. Now, there's a chance he doesn't run. For nice. We beat the Giants. God, this uh, season's getting interesting now. So we play the Raiders. We still have the Chiefs. Who do we play week 17? Probably not a divisional opponent because EA, why would they give us a divisional game? Oh, we actually do. We play the Broncos. How about that? So, we got three more games to go. I think we should pay Kaiser White. He's asking for a lot of money, though, so I'm going to move him to middle linebacker for a week. Because he's asking for edge, edge money. Yeah, ironically, Wood, Woodward has been a beast in my draft classes, too. He grades out well incredibly for PFF. Grades out incredibly well, I should say. So, um, we're going to move. I think my, my defender shirt might be here already. So, when I put in my address, I think it auto-filled my last place where my buddies still live. So they might have it already. I might have to go get it tomorrow. I ended up getting a long sleeve one. I do like the sleeper white linebackers. You're right. Just the last two years. We'll see what what uh, Woodward runs, though, like I said. If he's in the 4.7s, I'm going to have to drop him down a little bit. But I think he'll hit, like, 4.6.6, 4.6.7, which is good enough. He's got really... And I want to see him test well with his, like, 3-cone and 20-yard shuttle and stuff, too. Because he's got really good, like, explosiveness in short areas. But I want to see that, that show up. All right, this is a big game. What speed in Madden would that be? Like 83, 84? 4, 6, 7? Definitely good enough. It's like what, uh, what is, I think Luke Keekley ran like a 4 6. Pick it. Oh, wow. What a throw. Just like that. This Raiders offense lights us up, man. Base defense got screwed up because we put Kaiser White at middle. What's wrong, buddy? I think mom is uh, cooking in the kitchen and Teddy is not happy to be where he is right now. Thoughts on Ryan Connolly? He's fine. Good hybrid fit for uh, the new defense. 
he, he's a starting caliber guy. Like, he can be a good number two, number three linebacker. I got nothing. I got nothing against him. I don't think he'll ever be a star, but... There we go. Chris Jones. Luprand 4-8? Are you serious? That's wild. I would never have guessed that. Are you sure? Did he do better at his pro day or something? Because that's ridiculous. I'm surprised he was a first round pick if he ran that. That was too easy. Yeah, I was gonna say there's no way he ran a four four eight. Oh jeez, what a run. Come on, D. I don't know what it is about this Raiders team, but our defense just can't handle. What did Rich run last year? I think this is the year he doesn't improve it. I bet he goes down this year. Oh my god, what a throw and catch. Wow. A little back shoulder action. Jonathan Taylor in the Broncos series. I do remember. That was... Did I take him in the first round? Will Brian Poole re-sign or hit the market? Uh, That's a tough one, actually. I guess it depends what he asks for, because I feel like the Jets need to be a little stingy. If he asks for like over five mil, my guess is they'll let him go. Here's the deal though. I'm not always against running back in the first round. Like if he's the, the last piece and you're sitting at the end of the first round, that's a lot different than taking him Taking a running back in the top 10, you know? Like, even the Raiders taking Josh Jacobs last year. Oh! In a vacuum wasn't the worst pick in the world. It's just what they did with their other picks that made me think it was so bad. Because I had him as a top 15, top 12 player in the class. They desperately needed a running back. Like, And the other thing is, like, if that running back can contribute in the receiving game like Josh Jacobs does, they can be worth it. It's when you take a Leonard Fournette or a Zeke who aren't great pass catchers, that's when you get burned. Like, Christian McCaffrey, absolutely worth the pick they spent on him. Jesus. If Miami took Swift at 26, I think it's similar to what I'm saying. I think it, I don't think it'd be. I wouldn't give it a great grade. This is a huge play right here. I'd give it like a C or a C minus. Yes, Mike Williams is so clutch. 
Because, like, at 26, you know, there's a 50%, 40% chance you're getting a really good player anyway. But when you take him in the top 10 and that, like, you're giving up, like, a 10-year starter on the offensive line or you're giving up a number one corner, that's not worth picking a running back. But if you're giving up... Oh, good throw. Give me a block. KJ Hamler, let's go. Right in this thing. And especially, like, again, Swift is an excellent receiving back. Huge player right here. Third and ten. Come on, D. Can't let the Raiders end our season. Tackle. Yes. They're going to have to punt. Oh, Miami wouldn't. Miami wouldn't take him in the top 10. I got faith enough that they wouldn't do that. All right. Nice play. Fromm is going off. Let's get a signature win here from Fromm. Come on. I don't know why it just stopped me. That's weird. Great play. Already almost in field goal range. We could run it a little bit now. Good job, Fromm. Good uh, good check. Yeah, Farrell at top five was crazy. I think the Skins will get six wins next year. I think the Skins are going to surprise some people next year. They're going to be a tough out. I don't think they're going to be like a playoff team, but I like the Skins next year. All right, now this gets interesting. And if um, I miss, just because I can't normally check the wind, I'm just going to see what the wind looks like. Okay, we've got the wind, so that's at least good to know. Come on, Jarek. Yes, great run. Let's go. Hurry it up. Watch me miss the field goal. Although we want to pass for this here because we don't want to give them too much time or the ball in general. Yes. Let's go. Dunbar asking for a trade from the Skins. That's unfortunate that he's not uh, he's not going to stay loyal. Now that they're finally like in position of a good defense, I think it's actually kind of dumb. Like, it's a great scheme fit. You're going to be playing behind a really good pass rush next year. The Redskins low key will have probably a top 
five to ten pass rush next year. I think that's kind of dumb, honestly, to ask for a trade. I mean, unless you got bad blood inside that organization with, like, the training staff or something, I think that's... I mean, they've developed them. Alright, that was a hell of a win. Fromm made some big-time throws that last drive. Well, the Redskins didn't trade uh they didn't trade Williams Trent Williams I don't think they're gonna trade Quentin Dunbar now <laughs> 